give team coverage to get you set for the showdown on Action 2 News tonight. To start, Adriana Torres joins us live from MetLife Stadium. Hi, Adriana. Yes, hello from New Jersey. Well, the Packers and Giants are facing in Monday Night Football for the third time ever the last few times in 1982 and 1983. And these are historic franchises, but coming in tonight, we have a couple red hot quarterbacks, very different situations, but Jordan Love and the third stringer for the Giants, Tommy DeVito. Now this Green Bay squad very much fighting for a playoff spot right now. They hold that seventh spot, but it has been a journey to get to this point to get to 500 at six and six. And that includes a lot of injuries. No Christian Watson here tonight. No Jair Alexander and NFL reporting that Aaron Jones also will not be going tonight. Well, the team did elevate running back Kenya Drake off of that practice squad. But besides the injuries, they've been going through a lot of growing pains, and that's something that they certainly have had to get over. And now on a three game winning streak entering this game tonight. But there's one thing for sure. This Packer squad knows that they can't underestimate anyone, including this four and eight giant squad. Definitely been a roller coaster. I can say that, but I just really believe that as long as we're all resilient and just working connected as a team, mm -hmm. I mean, only good things can happen. You know, there's nothing bad that's happening if we all connect as a group and just do our work eleven. I mean, I, I think we showed a lot of flashes in week one, and you know, now we just you know had a lot of development w within and you know throughout the year. So uh, we definitely more confident. Uh, Playing more, trusting each other more, and you know, we're just out there just doing the best we could do. No such thing is easy in this league. So that's one thing I'm starting to learn from our veterans and other guys that none come easy, so none come easy. So this Giants squad also has some momentum coming into this one. They are coming off their bye, but before that, they had two straight wins. So both teams trying to keep their little hot streaks going. Uh, the Packers, specifically in the month of December, trying to stay undefeated under Matt LaFleur. They're trying to go 17-0 in the month of December. Lots more reports uh, coming to you live throughout the newscast throughout the night. Live from New Jersey, Adriana Torres, Action 2 Sports. Thanks, Jeff, and we bring in Adriana Torres from East Rutherford, New Jersey in the Meadowlands. Tonight, the Packers face another challenge, and once again, they do so amidst injuries. They've been winning that way. What are they going up against tonight? Yeah, well, we know that the, the injuries have been a problem all season long, and let's start right there because they're going to be without Christian Watson. Aaron Jones on offense and Jair Alexander Jones was reported by NFL Network today. He has been out the last two games with that MCL sprain. So the Packers today elevating Kenyon Drake from the practice squad. He's a running back that the Packers just signed a few days ago. So getting some of that, but also this might be an AJ Dillon game. Now Jair Alexander, he was ruled out yesterday by the Packers. He is now going to be missing his eighth game of this season with that. Well, before it was a back injury, now it's a shoulder injury. He says that he doesn't want to play through if he's not 100%. And then again, Watson, he's still dealing with that hamstring injury that he suffered last week against the Chiefs. So this is going to be also a game uh, that these other guys will have to step up. That's nothing new for this Packers team. We've seen them all season long doing that. A couple other guys on the injury report to keep an eye on. We're going to be waiting for inactives in the next couple hours here. Uh, Quay Walker is listed as doubtful. And then Darnell Savage and Eric Stokes questionable entering this one as well. When you look at the Packers in terms of their win streak, three in a row, everyone seems to feel pretty good about that. But keep in mind, all three of those wins have come by a single score. The margin for error is thin. And they're going against a 4-8 and eight Giants team, but they've won two straight themselves, right? Yeah, well, the biggest message this week is never underestimate an NFL team. They've done it the past few weeks. They were the underdogs the past few weeks against the Lions on Thanksgiving and against the Super Bowl champs in the Chiefs. This is a giant squad that, yes, coming off their bye, so they're very fresh. And before that, coming off two straight wins. However, it was against a couple bad teams of the Commanders and the Patriots, but still the message, just take it week by week. It's always the same. It doesn't matter who's on the other side of the field, and they won't get into that trap game like they did last year when they were on a three-game uh, winning streak, rather, and they got beat by the Giants in London. That a trap game? Don't want to fall into that once again here. Sure don't. Uh, Jordan Love, as of late, has played some really, really good football. What do you think the biggest difference for him has been, and why has he been so successful? 
Yeah, well, it's just about comfort. We saw these growing pains and we saw them have individual meetings in different groups in the offenses. They had uh, every Tuesday since they've been struggling, they had wide receiver meetings with Jordan Love talking throughout some of these uh, players on this offense to try to figure out what is wrong. But the big difference is just They've done more reps and when it comes to, you know, Jordan's getting more comfortable in the pocket. He's getting more comfortable canning plays if he needs to going somewhere else if he needs to. But also at the other end of that ball of those contested catches, they've been making those catches. These young receivers, these young tight ends. A thing to keep an eye on, though, is this giant squad has 18 interceptions. Romeo Dobbs said earlier this week that, you know, you just got to have that same mindset that you're going to come down with the ball no matter what. Well, also, again, like I mentioned, maybe this is an A.J. Dillon game. Get the run game going. The Giants defense, one of the worst in run. That's something that uh, they're going to want to try to utilize as well. Jordan Love this season, 22 touchdown passes entering this game. If he throws three tonight, he'll be all the way up into a tie for second most in the NFL. I, I know not a lot of people saw that coming, but he's on a roll now. On the other side of the ball, what are the Packers going up against with their defense against New York's O? Oh. Yeah, well, this may be a feast for some of these pass rushers like Rashawn Gary, who leads the team with nine sacks because this Giants offensive line has allowed 69 sacks on their quarterbacks. Tommy DeVito in his five games has been sacked, has been sacked 28 times. That's a lot. This offensive line for the Giants not doing a very good job. Yeah, um, so they're they're going to want to they're going to want to feast a little bit there tonight. Obviously, though, the one thing to keep an eye on from this Giants offense is Saquon Barkley. He crushed him last year in London. Now, he did miss three games this season, but he's a guy that can do so much on the field, running the ball, catching the ball. We've even seen him come back and get the snap as a quarterback and run it into the end zone. We saw that last year. So this is a guy that's shifty. He can get into the end zone. He can make big plays. So this defense, this Packers run defense specifically that has had three games that has allowed over 200 rushing yards need to keep an eye on. All right. All that said, what is your prediction for the score in the winner tonight? I'm going to say Packers. I'm going 28 to 13. The Packers going to get more of a complete game like we've seen the past few weeks. Again, it just can't get the trap game can't get the trap game 28 to 13 and I think Matt LaFleur is going to go 17 and no with the Packers in the month of December. All right Adriana I agree on the 28 I have it 28 21 Jeff. Dave Adriana